and it shall come to pass in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people, there, it shall be said to them, You are sons of the living God. Hosea, chapter 1, verse 10. Sovereign grace can make strangers into sons, and the Lord here declares his purpose to deal with rebels and make them know what he has done. Beloved reader, the Lord has done this in my case. Has he done the same for you? Then let us join hands and hearts in praising his adorable name. Some of us were so undeniably ungodly that the Lord's word most truly said to our conscience and heart, You are not my people. In the house of God and in our own homes, when we read the Bible, this was the voice of God's Spirit in our soul. You are not my people. It was truly a sad, condemning voice. But now, in the same places, from the same ministry and scripture, we hear a voice which says, You are sons of the living God. Can we be grateful enough for this? Is it not wonderful? Does it not give us hope for others? Who is beyond the reach of almighty grace? How can we despair of any, since the Lord has worked such a marvelous change in us? He who has kept this one great promise will keep every other. Therefore, let us go forward with songs of adoration and confidence. Amen.